born here after the Thunder's 106 to 105 win over the Denver Nuggets here at the Pepsi Center. Russell Westbrook, what more can be said about Russell Westbrook? Uh, not only does he pass Oscar Robertson for the single season mark in triple doubles with his 42nd triple double tonight, 50 points, 16 rebounds, and 10 assists, but he gets to the 50 point mark with a game winning three pointer from the left wing from about 36 feet out. It was an incredible shot. Uh, Russell Westbrook said it might have been the best shot of his career. He also thought about the Golden State three from the corner that beat Golden State a few years back in Chesapeake Energy Arena. But it's clearly the high water mark for Russell Westbrook this season in terms of game winning shots. He continues to come through in the clutch. He scored the last 15 points for the Thunder down the stretch. They trailed by 10 going into the fourth quarter against the Nuggets. And not to mention the Nuggets were playing for a playoff spot tonight or to stay in playoff contention. A loss meant that they'd be eliminated from the playoffs. And Russell Westbrook single-handedly took them down. Now, big credit goes to the Thunder's defense down the stretch as well. Uh, they were able to get some key stops, particularly Victor Oladipo taking a charge down the stretch, uh, and then also Russell Westbrook coming down with a key defensive rebound after they forced Nikola Jokic into a miss, and that key defensive rebound set up uh, the final possession for the Thunder. Westbrook took a timeout with about two or three seconds left after he got that rebound. Thunder heads to uh, Minnesota on Tuesday. Uh, whether or not Westbrook will play or any other Thunder players will sit or play remains to be seen. They're already locked into the sixth seed and will be playing the Houston Rockets in the first round. But again, another incredible close from Russell Westbrook. Uh, it, it certainly seems like he's pushed to the MVP uh, front runner ship. That's not a word. But um, continual late game performances in the past two weeks have, uh, have certainly given him some momentum uh, going into uh, the final stretch of the season this week. Uh, here's some post-game video from Westbrook and Samaje Christian, who hit the three-pointer that gave Russell Westbrook his 10th assist of the night and the 42nd triple-double of this season. Well, Russell, we have asked you and asked you and asked you about those triple-doubles all season long. Now you've done it, you've broken the record. What are the emotions? Excitement? Relief? Uh, a little bit? <laughs> very, very blessed. Um, I think I got to be on the court. <clears throat> I got given. All the thanks to the men above. He's blessed me with an unbelievable talent to go out and compete at a high level. And I'm just thankful and you know for my teammates, coaching staff, for organization, for the fans, for my family for believing in me and allowing me to do um, you know what I'm doing. That last shot. Did you have a good look on it? You were pretty yeah, far yeah. back there. Yeah, I definitely I practice that shot every day pregame. So I shoot from the same spot every day pregame. And definitely, uh, <laughs> uh, and definitely felt confident in not shooting that shot. Did you feel like a storybook ending the way this game got the assist? It felt like a blessing, man. And then, and then you made the shot. It feels like a blessing. Uh, nothing else I can describe for it. Um, you know, I can't take the credit. Um, you know, I've been blessed, like I told you before, man. I, I'm so thankful to be able to go out and compete at a high level. And every time I get on the floor, I try to leave it out there. The crowd recognized it, they knew it was coming. Could you uh, feel their energy as, as you were Yeah, I've been feeling it for a while. I mean, every, kind of everywhere I've been, uh, the crowd's been kind of like that, which is truly amazing, something I could never dream about. Um, you know, growing up in the inner city of Los Angeles and now being on the biggest stage possible, something I can never do. You think your teammates were feeling it? They seemed maybe a little tight as well. Uh, I mean, they, they, they didn't enjoy the moment. I just, you know, thankful for them because they made my job so much easier throughout the year. And, um, you know, now we're getting ready for the playoffs. How does it feel to be a part of history? Um, a blessing, man. Um, uh, I know y'all going to probably get tired of me saying the same thing, but <laughs> it, 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 I, I promise you, man, that's, you know, I. I I've been blessed with so many things, um, and, and this is another blessing. I don't never take it for granted. Um, and every time you ask me, I'm gonna tell you the same thing because that's what it is. Um, and I'm so thankful uh, to be able to do the things I'm doing. What was that celebration like at the end of the? You jumped pretty high after you. Yeah, I did. I know. I know. It was fun, man. It's just pure adrenaline, um, emotions uh, running high, uh, game winning shot. Uh, it's something you dream about as a little kid to be able to do that uh, on the road, and uh, especially from that distance, is something that uh, you, de you definitely never forget. The other night, when you had your shooting practice, did you did you shoot shots like that? Um, nope, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> well, I shot a lot, a lot other shots. <laughs> What did you think of the way that y'all closed uh, tonight? Uh, you know, Victor got a key charge. I mean, you got a big uh, defensive rebound on that last possession. Um, I think it was important. I think um, more and more we keep closing games the right way. I think for the most part we didn't want to, we didn't play as good as we wanted to. But I think 
as a team overall, we, we closed the game like we wanted to. It seemed like a pretty crucial two for one that you were able to get. Yeah. Why were you able to, to get free um, and get I to told the coach so we had enough time for me to be able to get to the basket, get a layup, and you know get a stop and you know go for the win. Nick said he thought that was one of the biggest things he's seen of growth in your game is just how in control of the game you are, like noticing that clock there. Yeah, I mean, I think that's a part of leadership. You know, Nick has been almost like a big brother to me, so he, he understands the game. He knows kind of my ups and downs. He's kind of seen me, you know, do the struggles. And uh, to hear that from him is a, a great honor, and I'm just thankful <clears throat> to be able to play with him. Russ, you guys have been unbelievable uh, winning-wise when you get your triple doubles. How much more satisfying is it to get in a game like this than if it would have been a loss? Oh, I mean, it's an uh, unbelievable blessing, man. Honestly, I just, uh, like I said, my, th my teammates make my job very, very easy. The coaching staff, everybody around here um, makes the game easy for me, and I just try to go out and make sure that I do my part, which is come out and compete at a high level and run the basketball team. Your team's been locked, history's been made. What keeps you in the mindset to go out and try and still get that kind of performance? Um, I only know one way to play, honestly. <laughs> you know, I, I I don't know any other way to play. Um, when I get on the floor, I try to leave everything I have, regardless of seedings, records, um, you know, the time of the day, whatever. It doesn't matter to me. Um, you know, basketball is basketball, and I try to go out and, and leave it on the floor every night. Feel like this was the finishing touches on, on your MVP case? Well, I'm not sure, man. Um, every, like I said, man, to piggyback of what I just said, every night I go out and uh, compete at a very, very high level, and I take pride in that. Um, you know, take care of my body, different things of that nature, to go out and play and make sure that my team have a, a chance to win the game. Russell, you, I mean, tonight the crowd, I mean, they were just so on top of it. I mean, they knew the record was going on. And, how special is that to you? I and mean, there was a standing ovation out there. Yeah, I mean, that's very, very special, man. It's right. something I, um, I could never dream about. Um, something I probably would never forget, honestly, just because of uh, the amount of respect uh, around the world, around the league, that, um, you know, the support from fans. Uh, I really appreciate it. I don't take that for granted. And uh, I'm just thankful. Russell, when you got that standing ovation at home, when you, when you tied the record, you said you took it down a second to get back into the game mentally. Have that kind of same process tonight? No, no, we're losing. <laughs> 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 I was losing. Had to get, had to get the ball and go back and win the game. That's your story of just not being all that recruited out of high school. Yeah. You know, the, the story in ESPN magazine where you, you didn't even get it, you get to go to the camp and you're not even on the list. Does that still fuel you with yeah. that kind of stuff? Always, always, man. Uh, you know, there's some, those are stories and different things that I never forget. Um, it's, Something that you know that can always stick with me and always pushes me to be able to come back every year and make sure that you know I'm a better player and a better person. Russell, what will you do with the game ball? I'll give it to my parents. Um, you know, I, I've been raised by two lovely parents. They blessed me and obviously brought me into this world. And uh, you know, I'm so thankful for them. And it's definitely going. Everything from this game is going home to them. So. The other night, you, you mentioned that this is something you'll tell your, your son about. It's a heck of a time in your life, isn't it? <laughs> Fun time, <laughs> for sure, man. It's a it's a great time, man. That's why you got to enjoy every moment. Uh, take one day at a time and, and embrace it. Which is with in, like impending fatherhood. Is that is that weighing on you at all? Um, it's a blessing, man. I'm just uh, you know <laughs> praying for my wife, make sure everything goes well. I know she's home watching, um, and you know just so thankful, and you know can't wait to bring him into the world. Russ, what was your thoughts when the Nuggets Last PA announcer uh, took time aside to be able to actually? Um, I mean that's a, that's another great uh, great thing, man. I, I don't know how often that happens, especially on the road to be able to do that. Um, is something that I could never imagine. Um, you know, truly amazing. The fans here were great, and I'm um, just thankful for. Them. You made that shot in the corner. Uh, did it feel like it was going to go in all the way, or was some some pressure for you? Uh, I was open, so I shot it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, just, he, he always tells you, you open, shoot the ball. So I was open, bro. I let it go. <laughs> and then he hits the shot at the end of the game. That's just typical Russ, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's like a video game. Man. I love it. Love watching. You know your Wikipedia page has already been updated as the guy who hit the shot and gave Russell his. I'm gonna go check that out. <laughs> Definitely gonna go check that out. So RJ, down the road when you're telling people about today and how you were a part of it, what were you telling us? I was the one that hit the shot. Nick, Nick told me I should uh hold my shoes or do something with them. <laughs> so I, I might I might take take Nick up on that. I don't know. <laughs> what, what was it like being out on the court? Because there was like three chances before you hit that shot and the crowd would cheer before every single one and then they boo when you didn't get it. What was it like being on the court for that stretch? Uh, stressful, but it was going to happen. We knew uh, it was going to come the time when he got close. Uh, somebody needs to make a shot or somebody needs to make a play. That's basketball. They oh, out there playing. You were nervous? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Really? <laughs> 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 <laughs>